Yo, what's up guys, John Bull here, and today is the day for the Into the Future Chapter 1 Moon Guide. Yes, you heard that right, and as always, we're going to hop into the treasures first, and all the cats you will need, the lineups and everything. Alright, here we go, these are all the treasures you will need, and it's basically every single one of them, except for the moon treasure, so make sure you get all the treasures superior and make sure they are superior once again because people just get normal treasures and they think they can beat it but having all them superior makes a really big difference and these treasures will also help in the future in future stages like stories of legend and also in into the future chapter 2 and lots of other stuff so make sure you get all of them and here we go this is the lineup you will need for this level and I'm gonna make some suggestions and stuff and some stuff you could change around but some stuff that you shouldn't change so of course we got the cat as a staller um, pretty basic if you have it I'm guessing everyone has it um, tank cat you do not need a true form like I do but it will help so if you do have a true form go ahead and the true form boogie cat and once again if you do not have the true form you do not need it but if you do have it use it it will help and of course of course Paris cat and once again you do not need the true form but true form Paris in this level is absolutely amazing because if you didn't know the cyborg version of Paris negates weaken effects and the boss does weaken enemies so true form Paris is a big one for this one and Craze Whale, this is another big one, and if you do not have Craze Whale, there is a substitute for it, but it's fairly easy to get. You only need like level 25 cats to get Craze Whale, and if you do not have Craze Whale, then you can substitute it with Rover Cat, which is right over here. This cat right here, you can replace Craze Whale with this cat if you do not have Craze Whale. And the next one, this is an optional cat you can bring it's either you bring it or don't bring it this is future John Boogle gear and I forgot to say if you do have true form sexy legs cat replace it with this cat or replace it with something else but just in case this is an anti-alien cat which slows alien movements and this is a very big one right here we got true form maiden as you can see but if you do not have true form maiden use the Titan cat and I recommend having it plus 7 and above, plus 6 and above because it's a big cat to have because if the hippo comes out in the stage, this is your main thing against it. And another big one is of course Dragon Cat. Luckily I do have my true form but you do not need true forms. And of course Valkyrie Cat and the Bahamut is the last one. And this is the lineup you will need and now let's finally hop into the actual guide. Okay, so I did record this previously, but the file got corrupted, so I'm going to have to re-record it. But here we go. We're going to hop into it again. And once again, this is the Into the Future Chapter 1 Moon Guide. And of course, if you're having troubles, the power-ups you can bring is Sniper and Rich Cat if you're having trouble at the beginning. And the main goal for this moon stage is to try to take out the boss before the alien pig comes out because if it does come out and you're not prepared for it it can wipe out everything that's in its way because of those wave attacks but this is going to be the run where we kill the boss before the pig comes out and after this one I'll make sure to do a run where the pig actually does come out in that scenario and I'll show you how to deal with it but you want to start off this level of course getting your wallet upgraded few times and you can make a big push in the beginning here with your uh, Craze Whale and Titans or Maiden Cat and it will do a pretty good amount of damage because the Craze Whale can survive a hit and of course the Titan can survive a hit and if you get a couple knockbacks in the beginning here I'm sure you will defeat the boss before the pig does come out. So that's our goal in this run here. We're gonna go aggressive and keep spawning in those Craze Whales or the Rovers consistently 
and every appearance every now and then will help to clear out some of the bunches of enemies and of course a titan every now and then and try to get two or three knockbacks on this boss and you should be good and as you can see we already got one knockback and you should be getting two there we go boom two knockbacks already and none of the main bosses have come out yet so we're looking pretty good here three knockbacks there we go and as you can see treasures are very very effective so make sure you do get them superior and I know I've said that over four times in this video and here we go the first annoying enemy that comes out is that thing right there with the big eyes yes that thing that thing is actually called Lemur and yes it's a very weird name but I like to call it that thing because it is that thing but to take out this thing pretty quick, which is our goal, we want to spawn in a Valkyrie and couple it with Parises, and of course keep spawning in those whales. And if you take it out quick enough, you'll have a big stack of whales that will attack the boss after that thing is down. But if you don't take it out fast enough, and these things do have a lot of health, as you can see, the moats will come out, and this is where it gets kind of intense but not too intense for liking so you just want to stack up range cats against this so dragons and your parises and stop spawning in the whales because they will die easily and you just want to you want to try to take these out as quick as possible because the enemy that comes out after this you don't want to have it paired with the moths so you must be wondering how the fast way to take them out is. So what you want to do is actually lure them out and spawn in your Bahamut. And the Bahamut should take care of it and take them out very quickly. And of course pair it with the Parises to take out anything else that's in the way. And look at that. The moths are able to withstand a Bahamut attack. So they have lots of health. And as you can see the thing is actually still alive there. And it does have an extreme amount of health and can become annoying very quickly. That is probably my least favorite enemy to face in into the future because it is so annoying but there we go we got one moth down and let's try to get this other one down before that bear comes and there we go we got it down. <laughs> As you can see I'm not spawning anything and the same thing you just want to lure out the bear out in front. And if your Bahamut does survive, of course, you want to try to keep it alive. But if it doesn't, you just want to lure out the bear in front of the Clive 1. And here we go, that thing is coming again. That enemy is very yeah. really annoying too. <laughs> and it's annoying for a good reason because it has so much health, so many knockbacks, and I'm pretty sure it weakens your cats too. So, what you want to do is actually try to get this bear low enough and once it starts one-shotting your whales or your titans that's when you stop spawning your whales and titans and mainly focus on ranged and I'm gonna speed it up till we finally kill this bear because it's just a back and forth battle of ranged cats And here we go, he should be dying any second, boom, it's down, and this is where we make our uber push, and go all out offense, because we do not want the next big secondary boss to spawn in, so try to get as much damage as possible done, and if you're wondering why you don't want to let the secondary boss spawn out, it's because it is the pig, and that pig is just gonna wreak havoc on all your stack cats so you want to try to get this Clive one down and killed in this push so make sure you just keep consistently spawning in those whales and titans and of course Valkyrie if it's recharged and of course your stallers to keep everything in line and boom there we go it is down our huge whale stack and titan stack took it down and <laughs> get the base down as fast as possible before that pig comes out and this is the run without the pig coming out and of course after this run I will show the scenario if the pig does come out and you do not kill the boss in time and how to defeat it properly without getting wrecked 
but most of you should be able to take it out before the pit comes out because if you have all the treasures and you have level 30 cats this should be no issue and boom it is down but yeah let's hop into the other scenario where the pig actually does come out and here we go this is the scenario and as you can see the pig is right there and what you want to make sure is you have your Bahamut ready for this and you want to spawn in your tanky units like the whale and titan and keep consistently spawning in those parises and you want to try to get as much Bahamut hits off as possible but of course if he does keep waving your titans and whales will be there to tank the damage and get some hits off and you do not want to spawn in your stallers too much as you can see I'm not even spawning any stallers right now because you want to give your ranged cats some leverage to get a hit off before the waves go off and the stallers make the waves go off a lot quicker than usual so make sure you only spawn in your whales, your parises, your titans and and worst comes to worst that's when you start spawning in your stallers and of course of course if you have valkyrie up that will help out too but in this scenario I did not have valkyrie up I only had the Bahamut but it should still do enough damage to take it out and boom there we go it's taken out and like before once we take out this pig that's when we go full out offense on the boss and take out the cly one and boom the cly one is down and that was the into the future chapter one moon guide and next is going to be craze cats because you do not want to hop into uh, into the future chapter two right away go to stories of legend try to get your run run wolf try to get some craze cats maybe even all of them before we hop into into the future chapter two and start doing that but yeah that was the guide drop a like if this guy did help you out and of course comment below if you are struggling I'll try to help you out but yeah that was the into the future chapter one moon guide i hope you guys enjoyed leave a like if you did subscribe if you knew and yeah that's it guys it's been john blue and see you